feels alright Still I can't close my eyes I'm seeing a tunnel at the end of all of these lives Some days Where have you gone? I get the strangest feeling I honestly feel that we can beat uh, any team in the league. That sounds stupid, doesn't it? Yeah. And by Tuesday night, it certainly did. Time was running out for Taylor as Preston ran in five goals to leave his job hanging by a thread. Defeat number 10 is the final straw, because on Wednesday, Taylor was sent packing. The club claimed they'd parted company amicably, though someone forgot to tell Taylor. Yet under Taylor, Gillingham won only nine of their 33 league games. And their current run of ten consecutive defeats is the worst in the club's history. The team have slumped after a bright start and are now third from bottom and facing a long fight against relegation. Pressure had been building on Taylor as Gillingham nosedived down the table and it finally came to a head after last night's 5-0 defeat against Preston North End. Will Keith Peacock be coming back as manager? I would think it's highly unlikely. Hunter's but... choice is John Hollins, the former Arsenal manager who lives in Sevenoaks. Peter Taylor, the Dartford player manager, is another favourite. If you're looking for long odds, how about Billy Bonds, the West Ham veteran? Or Mark Lawrenson, who was sacked from Oxford earlier this week. Keith Birkinshaw cut an impressive figure as today's press conference centred on a manager to whom Gillingham are praying for a miracle. On Saturday, the former Spurs boss was given plenty to think about watching from the Priestfield stands as Gillingham lost for the 11th game in a row. This time, the victors were Wolves. But in eight years at Spurs, Birkenshaw won the FA Cup twice and enjoyed success in Europe. It's a far cry from those glory, glory days for the shrewd Yorkshire-born manager who played for Sheffield Wednesday and Liverpool and also managed two other third division clubs before joining Spurs. Now, after a four-year exile managing the Bahrain national team and later Sporting Lisbon of Portugal, Birkenshaw admits his new job at Priestfield is probably the biggest challenge he's ever had. But I'm not a miracle worker. All I'll promise is that I'll put all my experience and, and uh, what I've done in the past into the job that I've got here, uh, now and into the future, and hopefully it will go well for us.
supply at Gillingham these days, so Gavin Peacock makes the most of his Sunday morning stroll. But he's not off to the news agents for confirmation of the latest soccer scandal, or even the golf course. Because for Gavin, another bell tolls. Barnhurst Methodist Church is Gavin's Sunday local. My life. Gavin's rated at £350,000 and several leading clubs are interested. His eye-catching performances are all the more notable because they've been for a struggling side. I would say I don't worry about uh, my football as much as I used to. It used to be that football was everything, and if I had a bad game, I'd worry about it for a long time. And I think that I could have been a bit tense because of that. Similarly for Gavin and girlfriend Amanda, their dates at church are a regular Sunday fixture. Because it's like with any relationship, if you don't talk to another person, the relationship dies. And if I don't talk to God, I'm not supposed to do anything. anybody off until it's mathematically impossible <laughs> not to come back and uh, people keep saying this to me you've no chance and I say well uh, there's no chance when it's impossible uh, not to have a chance at present we're in with a chance so we just uh, hopefully uh, win a few more games and see what we can do about it Drain on me Even when the sun is shining I can't avoid the light thing. And myself well, I'm being held up by invisible men Still life on a shelf Well, I got my mind to something else So days Oh, where have you gone? I get the strangest Why does it all